guys, what's going on? This is LifeX. Today in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how you can make a custom catchy thumbnail for your YouTube video. So, you really don't need any software for this tutorial. So, and also it will work for you in any operating system like Windows, Mac, and Linux. So, let's get started in my computer. I'll get you there. So, welcome back to the video, guys. So, once you are uh, in this video right now, you really want to go to this website. It's called the pixelart.com. And yeah, you really want to open the launch web application. So just click on launch web application and you guys will be pretty looking like this. And yeah, you want to create a new image as well. So just click on new image and you want to choose the custom. So width, it will be as the 1280 and the height, it will be as the 720. And just click on OK and you guys will get the white plank board right now. Yeah. And after that, you want to search for the a uh, background. So just go to Google. Okay, you want to Google search for the background images. It's um, it's it will be on the images, you know. So let's search for the background like uh, texture background, texture blue background. Okay, so just go to images. And yeah, guys. So you guys really want to search for you know. Uh, your resolution size more than the, your resolution size of your thumbnail so mine was like a 1280 by 720 so this one fit for me it's a 920 by 1080 so yeah once you are uh, have opened this then just go to your view images and just copy this link and go go back to your pixel or you know so and just click on the file and Click, click on the open image URL and just paste over here and press on OK and it will load you the photo so once you are done with that then just you need to do is press on control hold and and again press on A and it will select all and then you just need to do is control C to copy and now you are done with this photo so you, re you really want to close this or uh, if you don't then it's also okay so yeah and just press on control V to paste that okay so you guys have get the you know uh, blue <laughs> fancy background now what you need to do is click on the text text and yeah just place it over here and type whatever you want you know like uh, I will type as an example how to video how to okay make a video so you guys are seeing over here the fonts are really really small so if you want to increase the font then just you need to go with size and increase this or also you guys can even use the you know the stylish fonts like the obelix pro and other fonts so i do have obelix pro right over here so if you guys want to use the obelix pro font then it will be also in my link in the description down below you guys can choose that as well okay so this is the obelix pro and yeah once you are you know happy with that you can even color the font so let me color the white yeah it's looking cool and even you can do in the next lines like how to make a video and yeah if you want to drag this you can do that as well to make a you know fancy look so you can even increase the uh, font size you know like that so it's not cool but yeah it's working well and even you guys can drag this over here yep so how to make a video so we have recently created this right now and yeah just press on ok once you are done with that so we have created the text so now the time it's a stand to adding the you know uh, emojis or something crazy funny pictures like that so let's um, create epic Oops, the epic emoji PNG. And if you saw some stickers like the fancy faces, so yeah, I want to do some cool. Okay, this one seems really cool. And make sure that this uh, photo is been of transparent layer. Yeah, it's been transparent right there. You guys can see that. So just open the view image and copy that link. And then you want to just open the image URL, paste it over here, and click on OK. And yeah, that's been loaded. 
So do the same thing, Control A and Control C to copy and click on no and then you want to do like that as well. And you can use the move tool over here and move this um, epic, you know, over here or even you guys can even trans, you know, do the, okay, let me show you again, free transform, I mean, control T, you guys can use the circle key as well and you can increase that. So how freaking cool is this? So yeah, how to make a video that's been the thumbnail for you guys. So this thumbnail is uh, kind of looking cool, but yeah, for you, um, it's been tough, great. Okay, so just click on yes if you want to change. So once you are happy with this, then you, you want to, you know, save this photo. So to save this photo, just go to file and save. So also make sure to uh, save as the quality, high quality. Make sure to do in 100 and also the file size, I mean in format, it's on the PNG and name the file, it's the how to video and press on ok so you guys can even see that file size is going crazy like you want megabyte. And if you also ask you where to save your photos, so I want to save on the pictures and save that. So yeah we have saved the pictures, now you, you guys can go to your pictures and you guys can see that. How awesome uh, the picture is right now. Okay, so you guys can see that. So guys, this is how you make uh, the you know thumbnail for free using the online tool called pixelor.com slash for slash editor. So this is a very good website if you don't have you know the Photoshop or you guys can't access the Photoshop like that. So yeah, you guys can have fun with this Photoshop web application yet. So I hope you did enjoy this video. And yeah, if you did, and if you did so, then yeah, be sure to um, drop that like button for this video, and also be sure to subscribe if you don't have even yet. So yeah, let's let's say bye for now and peace. Yeah, today in this video tutorial, guys, I want to show you how you can get the tons of like in your Facebook profile pictures or status or any upload that you have done on your timeline. So let's get it started, and it's very easy to do. And yeah, it will work for you guys as well, so I promise you. So let's get started with the